You guys, welcome back to the channel today. We are getting back and getting this mud truck ready to rip for Plant Bamboo Mud Park this weekend. Truck's gone wild event. It's gonna be sick. Um, this will really be the first big Truck's gone wild event I've taken this truck to. Uh, we Well, no, okay, we did take it to Red Nate Yacht Club, but Red Nate Yacht Club's not known for the mud. Um, they're more known for like the racing and the partying aspect. Um, the mud's just not there for the big trucks. So in a lot of side-by-sides, Plant Bamboo is one of my favorite places to go that's in Florida. It's got a lot of deep mud, and uh, we're going to really see what this thing's made of. So, I got a list of things we're doing to the truck. As you guys know, we have no shocks. Nothing. No shocks there. No shocks there. But, good news, we got shocks. They are right here. So, basically, I took it to my buddy. Um, he went through it had him go through them for me as you guys know we bent the shaft on the one so here is our bent shaft from the shock this is uh pretty impressive not bad and then obviously we still got our bent link bar here so we got our shafts all replaced in all four shocks some of them were rusty and just a real crappy just they're just old they've been on there for a long time so he also revalved them for us so hopefully the truck's a little smoother it was a little rough before it was a little stiff my ford was way smoother than this thing and we never had any work done to the shock so hopefully that took care of that and the truck's a little bit smoother so we are going to try to build the exhaust before we go i wanted to come out here we'll see how we end up doing that if not it's not a huge deal but i, I would like to try to maybe build that and get it on there but uh that's not a make it or break it thing. And then we do have a different gear for the transfer case. We got a 4.5 gear ratio. Right now it's got a four to one. So we got a four and a half to one. And then Mikey, my boy, has my link bars and they're getting powder coated as we speak. So he's taking care of that for me. Should ho have those back here, hopefully today or tomorrow. But for now, we're gonna work on getting these shocks put in and get this thing basically ready to go up top. And, uh, Get it sitting down a little bit on its own weight, just enough until we get our link bars here. That way we can get our link bars all broke loose, have them ready to go. And guys, do not forget, we got JHD Diesel merchandise in stock on the website, ready to rip. And every JHD Diesel purchase, every $5 spent, gets you a one entry to win this sick Tahoe my boy Cletus just got. So guys, CletusMcFarland.com, BaldEagle.com, whichever one you go to, look for some JH merch on there. And we'll get you hooked up with an entry for every $5 you spend. That'll get you entered to win that sick Tahoe. So, guys, there you have it. I hope you guys enjoy the video today. All right. Got all our tops hung. Now I can get the bottom. Now the front's going to be a little tricky. I don't know what I'm going to do there yet. We had to kind of pop these out. I may just have to undo the sway bar. As you can see, the sway bar is completely drooped. So, and those adjustments are seized. So, I may have to drop the sway bar on it and that way I can get the axle up high enough because as you can see, that's not going to go into that hole right there. So there's a little bit of spring. Uh, we'll see. I don't know. I don't think it's going to go there without undoing the sway bar. So I'm going to get the back hooked up because that one has no rear sway bar. So I can get the back hooked up right now and then jump back over here to the front and get her all buttoned up. Like I said, get them link bars out. I'll go from there. Alrighty, so now that we got our shocks all in, limiting straps on, shocks in, everything's set up there. Now we're gonna jump up top. I got some fresh products here. Check it out what we got here, guys. Got a brand new Cheetah SCS shifter. I wanted to change the shifter on it the way mine was set up before. Um, the shifter that's in there right now has the lever for reverse and stuff. I think it's a really good drag racing shifter. This is more for mud trucks, I, I feel like, because I can actually shift one to two very easily, quickly. One, two, three. I don't have to click the lever or pull back or anything. Um, and then it still has the stop for neutral to reverse, so you can't slam it up in reverse. I think it's going to work better for the mud truck. So, fresh SCS shifter. Let me get this old girl slid up in there, and hopefully it all fits and we can pull it right in. Shoo. All right, so we already got pretty deep into here. This is where the MSD box is mounted in there. Got that panel out back there. And uh, we have our shifter cable. Here's the old shifter. Like I said, the issue with this shifter was the way you had to go in reverse and also the way that you had to um, basically go from uh, one, two, and then click it back into third. I'm gonna put a different gate in this SCS shifter. I actually have one. So what this will allow me to do is I'll be able to go basically 
um, once I get it all how I want it, I'll be able to go one, two, and then go back and forth like this, no problem, without it going up into neutral. And then um, third, I'll have to click over to third. So that is what we're gonna work on. Uh, I am gonna have to build a new mount, unfortunately. This mount is not gonna work. Um, luckily, they got an original mounting plate here, which is awesome. So they've got that bolted to the floor. I can build off of this right here. This is very solid. So I'm gonna have to basically build something that kind of comes up to about right here. And then that is um, where the shifter will be from here on out. So it's a little bit different set, set up. So what I'm gonna have to do is get a plate and I'll probably just weld a pipe or something along those lines to it. I might make it bolt into that one. And I want the cable to basically come down here. We'll drill a hole in the floor and we'll route it right there to the transmission because the transmission should be pretty close to underneath the truck right here. But um, that's kind of where we're at with this thing right now. So I'll make it versatile. So if we ever do want to go back to that, which I don't think we ever will, we can. Nothing wrong with that shifter, just not good for this platform. This shifter is a lot better for this platform. So we're going to get our thing mounted up there, our mount, fab that thing up, and then uh, we just go from there. So what I got here is I got one plate ready, which is basically the plate that's going to bolt to where the other plate was, which is where this was mounted to. And I've got this big plate, which is going to be the new shifter plate, which I'll get that mocked up and uh, set up in a minute. And what I'm going to do is basically have this plate bolted down on the bottom, so it'll still make the shifter completely unboltable uh, and the bracket unboltable. And then uh, this will basically be on top and I'm gonna have a piece of pipe and we'll angle it however we need to and then we'll weld the pipe together to this. So basically it'll be uh, uh, almost like a, we wanna bring the shifter up a little bit because the other one's far down. So working on that, drill these holes out and get it mocked up in there and figure out how we gotta move my pipe and then we'll get our shifter mounted. All right guys, I got my new get gate installed. So now it's set up how I need it to be set up. It's a reverse manual valve body. So now you come park, reverse, neutral. And then now I can use one, two, because the, the two most common gears on this truck are one, two. So if I'm trying to bog, I can one, two, one, two, slam or reverse, whatever I need to do. But uh, one, two, and then wherever, click over for three. This truck doesn't use third much. It might now because of the gear change, but uh, Regardless of that, I'll be able to slam her down one, two, and go back and forth in the mud hole, which should do us pretty good. So new gates in there, and I'm waiting on a battery charge. I'll get this thing drilled up right here, and we'll get this thing built. All right, guys, so our trial fit has gone very good. Only, what, two tacks you had to do on it. We yep. had to redo it one time, but she's fitting nice. Shifter's aimed right at me now, so I can hold on to it. No issues there. Shift right through the gears, not a problem. Shifter cable is going to run right next to the seat and down to the floorboard and right through the transmission. That was pretty good. Honestly, we probably have what an hour in the mount, hour and fifteen, and half. Yeah, I did by myself. I did the cutting and drill all the holes, and then he came in and basically just did the tacks and. Not long. We're all set. Heck yeah, dude. Looks really good. Alright guys, there's our finish. Well, it's upside down, but there's our finished product. Got our setup for the shifter. Nice little bracket. Luckily, they already had a bracket that went down to the uh, actual body, which has made our lives a lot easier. We had to make the whole thing, so we were able to use that, go on that plate. Wasn't difficult at all. Probably like I said, got a little over an hour into it. Turned out really good. Should be really nice looking in the truck there. Alright, so we just pulled up here to Mike's Custom Coatings. Just got him out of the oven. Hey, this one's a reverse one. <sighs> That's not good, bud. Well, that means you got a regular thread on the bottom. I don't know. We'll see. See how all this works. Bro, Woo! How, Look how at you, these bars, how man. How do you not clean your bed of your truck out? Look at this. Don't worry floor. about that. Look at this. Such a clean. Got them all powdered and glossy and... Oh, shoo! Says so it's going to match the paint on the truck. Will you put your phone down? And like it. I like it, guys. Mikey's a little uptight. It's Valentine's Day. His wife left him because he was doing my bars tonight. She's got the picture now, so we'll get a lot more production done since she's gone. But well, they're looking fresh, dude. Looking good. My boy hooked it up. Let's go. 
We got our bars back to the shop here. Got those things ready to go on. Get the old ones off. We've been just tapping threads, had a little bit of powder and a couple of threads, working that out and then uh, getting the bars out. And then we're gonna cut one of these things apart. I think we'll cut that bent one apart and see how it looks. So uh, we're gonna get these, all these bars out now, get them all readjusted. Shocks are in, like I said, and we got all the weight off of it. So at that point, we're ready to set her down on our own weight, hopefully, and see how this thing sits. And hopefully we don't bend another bar on this thing. Dang, got them new link bars in. So we got four link bars off the 6.0, and we got four freshies that Justin built here in the shop. And so the moment of truth, guys, so these are my old bars off the 6.0. These are all off this truck, and we got the bent one here, which... I already know the answer to it. Well, we, we, don't tell we them the answer to it. Well, we, we didn't yet. We haven't actually snuck a peek to see the actual difference. But I'm really curious to check this pipe out and see what the difference is. I've got a piece of DOM over here. And we're going to compare. Let's take a peek. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> All right, dude. So what do we got here? What do we have here? Well, this is seam wall pipe. So that is seam wall pipe. See that seam running down the end? You do not see it yet. Yep, there's a seam right there. So, guys, big thing here. Now, these, this is a piece that we cut off of my link bars. Well, let me clean the end of this up. This hair because it makes it look like extra, extra thick. Shoo! There she is. So, here's the link bar off my 6.0, one of the ends that he cut off to build the new bars. And here is our seam wall pipe. Now, as you guys can see, both of them are 2-inch. Both of them will fit the himes that you want to put. But as you can see here, the thickness, not only the thickness of the DOM, but seam wall pipe is not as strong, guys. It's good, this for, is, good for sprinklers and stuff it's, like that. Yeah. It's so... so this is actually a big argument in the mega truck world um and you know other sports that are further ahead as far as like off-road racing or um stuff like that every truck i've ever built every truck no matter what it is no matter what we've done to it this whole frame here um my green truck my 6.0 i've always been a firm believer in using dom tubing or chromoly tubing even um chromoly tubing is a lot more expensive but the benefit of chromoly, Justin, what's the benefit, if I'm not mistaken, chromoly tubing is lighter but stronger. But you're so, supposed to TIG weld it because it'll get brittle. They say it'll get brittle if you MIG weld it. So there you go. So my truck here, DOM, this truck, not DOM. So it's a huge argument. Like I've had guys, oh, Schedule 80 pipe is just as strong as DOM. It'll hold up. It'll work. And you know what? It probably will. This truck has had pipe on it all its life. I'm not bashing the guys that built it. I'm not doing that. I just want you guys to know the difference between the two. And then you guys see what happened. My 6.0 was built seven years ago and it bogged for basically five of those seven years, five or six of those seven years, eight years ago, I guess eight years ago. But um, five or six of those years, that thing was at a mud hole, bogging. And I never once, I've never, ever, ever had to re-weld anything on the truck We've never bent a link bar. We've never bent a piece of tubing, nothing. Like we have had that truck bogged. I was pretty stuck, don't get me wrong. The way we were trying to pull on it, the whole situation was not good. But at the same time, I've had my 6.0 and some pretty nasty stuff and I've always been able to get pulled out. I've had excavators, dozers snatched on me, multiple trucks. My truck has never broke. So just kind of wanted to give you guys a heads up. It's our little comparison. We got our DOM versus our pipe. And just even the, the weight of this, I mean, guys, when you're building roll cages or anything, I mean, this is safety, you know, this is safety. If this thing would have folded up on me, could have really hurt somebody. 
if we were at a high speed, could really hurt somebody, me, passenger, anybody. And then, um, you know, rather than saving a couple bucks, even if it's double the money, you're saving a couple bucks for safety. I've heard people building roll cages out of pipe. It's cheaper. It'll hold. It's fine. Guys, it is not as strong. So I can't stress enough. Sure, everybody's going to chime in, tell me what they think. But that's honest, true experience. Having a truck for how many years, never breaking anything. Having a truck for a few months, doing no different than what I've done with my other truck. Already bent an upper link bar on it. I mean, it's right there. So guys, when you're building a truck, I do highly recommend DOM tubing, not pipe. As you can see the difference. Race car or Anything. It's all DOM, chromoly. Use the stuff that, you know... Honestly, it's a safety thing. Use the stuff you know is going to hold Drug up. Molly is a lot higher tensile strength than even than DOM. Mm -hmm. But the seam and the pipe, you know, it, it just takes a lot of the strength out of it. Yeah, that's and that's the thing. So you guys see the difference. Look at this. It's not. So anybody that wants to argue, Schedule 80 is just as strong as DOM. It's fine. I can tell you from personal experience... It is not. And that's a huge argument in the mega truck world. I've literally argued people till I'm blue in the face telling them, look, DOM's the way to go. And they don't believe me. But there's proof right there, guys. Shoo! All right, we got a couple more things left on the truck. Got the shocks in. Got the link bars in. We got our shifter bracket that's all built and done. Uh, Justin and myself went ahead and fabbed that thing up. And then uh, once, the link, or once the shifter bracket's done, I can put the shifter in, which is done, actually. It's painted. I'm gonna get in there tomorrow and then fire this old girl up, get her ready to go bogging again. And we're, uh, and we're T minus one day to the muddle. That's always. Yep, we're <laughs> just never fails, no matter what we do. We can start on that as early as we want. Still, we're literally there the day of. Anyways, guys, we'll get done, show you guys how it's running, put our new shifter in. You guys check that out, and then we're off plant bamboo. Boom. All right, guys, that's a wrap. She's ready to go to plant bamboo. We're going to head there tomorrow. God, this thing is coming out so good. And uh, I freaking love it. It is coming out so good, man. We are going to do a video soon on what we have into this thing. So we don't know yet. We're going to do some tallying up, see what we got. Kind of see what you guys could understand of what they cost to build. And then honestly, like something you can get in that needs some work. And if you have mechanical knowledge, you get it running over time and make it pretty good. So either way, we'll have something come up on that soon. But guys, there you go. DOM versus pipe. Always go with the better stuff. DOM or chromoly. Put that good stuff on there. And uh, next stop, plant bamboo for this old girl. Let's get her going.